learning Potomac Falls. I am Mr. Murphy, one of the science teachers here at Potomac Falls. This is our fourth video with our Panther graduates. And in today's video, I asked our graduates a simple question. What message do you have for the students of Potomac Falls? Let's hear what they had to say. Um, I'm going through exactly what you're going through, just college. I know online learning sucked and you want to see all your friends and make friends. So that's really a bummer. But that's why it's important that we all get the vaccine. And in terms of the safety of the vaccine, I mean, even when I first heard of the vaccine coming out, I was a little nervous. But like, as I kept seeing people getting it and I kept researching about it myself, I realized that it's completely safe. Um, so basically just keep doing your research and look forward to the day that we start vaccinating under 18 people. Yes, uh, this is something I can relate. The virtual learning is very difficult at times when you wake up in the same spot that you're studying, that you're eating, that you're sleeping. Um, it just gets so monotonous and the days kind of just blur together. Sometimes I don't feel like I can focus as well being at home and virtual learning. I get this Zoom fatigue is what we've been saying all the time. So um, it's very challenging. I think for me, it's really important if you have a routine, like keep your routine going. I started um, like this like workout boot camp i was like i need to have something that i can just go to with like so proper social distancing and all of that um but something that you can just kind of get out of your own head or go for a walk and i know it's cold and snowy but if you can just find a change of scenery or you know chat with a friend or family member um and then if you have any questions about you know i know we're pandemic is there's so many unanswered questions that we have and um, if you have any questions, just do the research, the best research that you can. And if there's something that, you know, you don't understand or have difficult uh, time understanding, you know, especially with medical literature, it's hard for a lot of people to understand, you know, we have to trust our experts and um, listen to what they have to say. So I think that's the main thing is just, you know, trust the science, <laughs> you know, keep the hope. I think we can all um, just come together and hopefully beat this. Uh, so when COVID first hit, um, I was in my third year of pharmacy school, so I was still taking classes. I wasn't on any rotations yet, and it was definitely hard. It was quite an adjustment. I can't even imagine doing that in high school um, since you have classes all the time. You have friends that you want to see. Like The social aspect of high school is so important. I still talk to some of my friends from high school to this day, and I can imagine like not seeing them every day. But with the vaccines coming out, with the two vaccines, I believe, you know, this is the start of the end of the pandemic. Um, it might take a while just to get everybody vaccinated, but I hope, um, you know, at least by the summer, we'll be able to go back to some sort of normalcy. I think students, you know, keep in mind that you should give yourself a little bit of grace right now and be kind to yourself in this whole process. You can't do everything alone, and sometimes all the schoolwork that you get, yes, you have to learn how to prioritize. You know, some of it might fall to the wayside, and that's okay. You know, no one is expecting perfection right now. Um, I think the biggest thing is we just want to know that our students are engaged in class, in learning, you know, trying to find ways to still connect students to each other at school. I know that social piece is something that everyone is kind of uh, longing for right now. Um, the only other thing that I would say is reach out to your supports at school. You know, that's kind of a consistent message that we've been telling our students. You know, just because we're in a distance learning environment does not mean that those supports at school are gone. There are there support staff like your school counselors, whoever the school psychologist at your school is, the school social worker, all of those supports are still there for students. It's just in a distance learning setting. Now, like I can't imagine what it's like to be a student right now. So already props to every student out there that is just hunkering down through this time. It's so different than the high school experience that I had, obviously. Uh, so props to you. So that's the first thing I'm gonna say. And the second thing is just, um, if you have questions, like medical questions about the vaccine or about COVID, I urge you to seek advice from health professionals or from evidence-based information. Um, there's gonna be so much information out there 
about the vaccines, about the side effects, what are what's happening, um, and it can all become so mumble jumbled um, if you don't know what to look for. Um, and so that's why you know I always urge when friends or family are like, oh, I heard this thing about COVID. I'm like, all right, just take like a step back and just really try to focus on what's what the facts are um, and get it from somebody that knows what they're talking about. Um, so I think that's like one of the biggest messages I have out there. Keep wearing your mask um, and just, it's, it's a slow process, but it's happening and good things are coming our way, but we just have to be vigilant until everything starts getting uh, more stable. So my, so my big message uh, for, uh, you know, students and folks in the community is, uh, is to sort of give your parents a hug and tell them that, tell them that you love them. Uh, because I know from personal experience that they are trying their best uh, and they're trying to, you know, uh, roll with the punches just like you are. And everybody's sort of in unprecedented times and, and spaces. Uh, and, and similarly, your parents, uh, you know, they don't want to keep you from your friends. They don't want to for you not to be able to uh, do typical, you know, normal teenage stuff. Uh, it's, you know, they want to keep you safe. Um, and uh, you'll learn soon that when you have kids, your number one priority is to keep your, your children safe. Um, and uh, now when you do become parents yourself, you realize, wow, they're, they were really caring about me and were really, you know, were trying to teach me something or really trying to uh, show me something. Um, and you don't appreciate that really, unfortunately, until you're in, in that spot and you've gone through those experiences. And I'm not saying, I'm not telling you to, to sort of be wise beyond your years, but I just, just, you know, in the back of your mind, you know, there's a caveat of uh, your parents are trying to do the best they can as, as you guys are and to um, let everyone have a little bit more slack. Uh, for us, that means, but I think looking back on it, uh, when you sort of have these late night conversations, uh, you will remember those things uh, decades on later uh, and, we'll, and we'll remember them fondly. So I would, say, I would say sort of appreciate all the time that you will have now forced on you, uh, like it or not, with, by the pandemic. Uh, and because you will look back on them uh, fondly. And so I would say, you know, do the right thing, wear your mask, wash your hands, um, stay at home and socially distance if you need to be out um, so that you can protect those that are important and who may be vulnerable in your life. Um, and then again, your community at large. And I would say that every little bit helps, you know, all of this is cumulative from the people on the front lines taking care of COVID, pa COVID patients every day, um, to the people developing vaccines, um, to people who are in food service and making sure we have supplies we need at home. Um, but really everyone has a part to play and it's making a difference. Yeah, um, I would say that the vaccine to me represents hope that things are not just going to eventually get better, but they are getting better now. And we have something we can do to return to normal. Um, it is scary for some people because it's a vaccine that's never been used before, but they've done a whole ton of testing. And some of the healthcare workers like myself have taken it partly so that if there are other side effects or troubles, we can let people know before it eventually gets to the healthy young people. Um, I just hope that when it's your chance, you are able to get the vaccine and you choose to take it. I know this has been a super difficult last year and a year that probably none of you guys were expecting. And I'm sure it's definitely affected you guys from things that you were looking forward to, whether you were a junior and senior and wanting to go to prom or even graduation. Um, just know that all of us here in the healthcare field are, are super appreciative of all the sacrifices you guys have made um, to try and really quarantine and, and stay safe and protect not only yourselves, but your friends and family. Um, I know the end is in sight. We're so close. Um, just hang in there as much as you guys can. Keep social distancing. Um, get that vaccine whenever it comes out and is available to you and your parents and your friends. Um, and just know from one healthcare provider to you all, um, super thankful for everything that you guys are doing.